realised maybe in the class of 82 and in the class of 92 that you were in a really special group though because it, it's all you ever knew wasn't it you, you came through with these guys so it was just how it was for you yeah, I, th I think we realised at the time we, we, we had a good team because you know, you're winning every week, so that's a, a, a good indication. Mm -hmm. Did we ever think we was good enough to go and play for United for so many years? Probably not at the time, no, but you have to remember we had a manager who believed in youth as well. Yeah. Um, he, he wanted, he, he, he was watching us all the time, he knew we was good, he obviously seen something in us that he liked and he had to clear the squad out. I think he got rid of Konchelskis, Paul Ince, Mark Hughes. And he brought brought us all in and, and gave us that chance. And once brave you get the chance, to, you have to, take to it. play you, wasn't it? Because right, at exactly, time, yeah. having that bravery and seeing the talent that's there and keeping it all together. And it's the in the end, I mean, it means an awful lot for everybody within the club, doesn't it? The academy it's coaches, great. everybody you, to get your players. If they could get that again today, you'd want that for the next ten years, wouldn't you? Those players. And when you see Rashford come through, it's yeah. just, it's, it's a proud moment, them. isn't it? When you see a local lad come into yes, your, yeah. into your team, because it it doesn't really happen now. with so much money about everywhere. It's it's, it's very rare that, that, that many players come into the team who's, who's been a local lad. I want to ask Ozzy a question. He's probably the most humble person I've ever played with and probably the, the, one of the best, I've, probably the best genuine player I've ever played with. Did you, what, at what point did you realise you were special? I know you would never really say it, but at what point did you, you must have known that I'm I'm pretty good at as good as the rest no, of the never, guys were. No, never. You I, never thought it. I never thought it. I always went from week to week, performance to performance, and I never. You never really feel like you're a first team player. But I, I just wanted to keep play, keep keep improving, but make sure I got picked the next week. The thing about Sc I remember Scalzi, Martin, you'll probably remember as well. Whatever team he was on with the England team, and as good as everybody was, it was a brilliant generation. Whosever team he was on, won. And he used to get back on the coach, sit, sit at the table, not say a word. <laughs> and everybody used to get up, get on the coach That's and walk it. by and just look at him and go, just like, <laughs> you know the thing that, disbelief. The thing that struck me was his tackling. People say, Scalzi can't tackle. Jesus. I remember... So uh, what, your time? I remember, <laughs> I remember, I remember, I remember <laughs> an England, an England training session with Phil Neville. You put him in the stand and I thought, oh, well, fair no, we, play. We He's going to do it to his own players. Yeah, oh, yeah, we, was, did, uh, we, we did that. Never held back. We, it, was we, not, it was unbelievable. We kicked lumps out of each other every yeah. day, but you, com you were competing, you were yeah. competitive. You, you needed to get in the team. I, I'm not saying you go out to injure people. Yeah. Me and Nicky you every pushed day. each other on. Yeah, we are coming off with blood on our legs, everything. But that was the drive we had and the competition we had. You don't see a lot of that anymore, do you? A lot of that desire and that will and that special talent you need to get into a team. So when you were coming through, how much of that desire and that will was from Eric Harrison and from Sir Alex Ferguson and how much was it from each other? Just driving each other on, being so competitive in training because you were just desperate well, to start that, in midfield. Yeah, that, that was the environment Eric created. Um, he, I think he could see in us that there was obviously talent, but he was on to us all the time. There was never a a moment where you could relax and think, yeah, I've made it now. I'm, I'm going to be playing. In the, I'm going to be playing every week. I'm a first team player. Never ever let you feel that way, mm -hmm. and that it just made us so competitive. Like it, it was exactly the same as the manager. When you say he, he taught us about what it is to be a Manchester United player, what was that? What did he tell you? I think on the on the pitch, especially that it was always, you know, you must always have confidence, you must must be brave, you must be able to take the ball anywhere on the football pitch. Mm. And that, that wasn't just for midfield players, for forwards, for defenders. You have to play forward. It was always a, it was always about being positive. The mindset was, you go out to win games. OK, look, you might concede goals, and they wouldn't be happy with that, don't get me wrong, but it was always thinking about scoring goals, winning games, and being positive, and... It was something we. It was just the way we was brought. We all we all loved being being that kind of kind of players. And then Sir Alex took it on and took all of you on the class of ninety two. What was he like with with young players? That your debut against Port Vale when he just started giving you those first team opportunities. Yeah, again, you like I said, you, you knew where you stood. If you weren't pulling your way, he'd have you. And that, and that was every single. Even day. when you were a teenager. Even when, of course, yeah, when you were a teenager. Yeah. It doesn't always work for everybody. It worked for us, obviously. But great manager, he just knew. And like I say, you have to have a manager who's willing to give you a chance, give young players a chance. And he, 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 he couldn't wait to give us a chance. And hopefully we paid him back. Do you remember stepping out of line as a young player and so relax having a word? Hmm. Um, yeah, well, I think we all do at some point, don't we? Um, we all get a... Were you scared of him like you were scared yeah. of Eric? Were I, you? I'd still be scared of him now. No, you wouldn't. I swear to God, it's just the presence about it. I'm not scared of him, obviously. 
you know, as a, as a young player, you, you do anything to keep on his right side. You see him coming down a corridor or something, you turn the other way because yeah. you just don't know what, what kind of mood he'll, he'll be in. But it was just the presence of the respect. Man. Jake, I remember my player. debut for Manchester United, played City away. Somehow we're down 1 0 at half time. Rio runs be beyond me as a centre back. He's like, oh, and get in the dressing room quick. And I thought, why? I was 26 at the time. I was relatively established. And he said, Gaffer's going to go crazy. So I thought, get in the dressing room. And even Rio, as vocal as he is and as funny as he is, he, you know, he was scared. You're not scared, but he was like, he knew, he knew the manager. Mm. And we got in actually fair. But do you remember? And he said, uh, said you know, I don't know how you're behind, but he, di he didn't actually go mad. But I just remember Rio's reaction no. that he was genuinely frightened of the manager's reaction. And that's probably why the players invested so much for him, because they never, ever wanted to let him down. I think usually the problem for them was what might have been application. Because they had the talent, didn't they? Yeah. As you could see, they had all the, the gifted players were for, throughout the team. It was getting the blend. He, he had a succession of teams for Alex Ferguson, didn't he? He kept recreating. Mm -hmm. But that sort of common theme was the youngsters in the team. So it was about getting that extra from them. And he knew he had the, he had the measure of the team. And, you know, if you didn't pull your weight, you didn't stay there, did you? That, that, that was his biggest thing, desire and drive to actually do it. I think if he, if he saw this team playing out today, I'd, I, I'm sure if he's watching at home or he's been here today, he'd be... He'd be having kittens at what he's watching. You think so? Yeah. You have to have that dynamo, don't you, in any dressing room. Somebody has to beat. You know, you you run to the tune of the manager, and if you don't do it, you don't you don't produce. Then you don't play. Yeah. You know, that's how they you vote, you vote with your feet when you're with your players. You're in the side if you perform. If you don't, you're out. And finally, what did the uh, famous hair dryer consist of? Swear words. A lot of swear words. Really. Uh, right in your face. Flying boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you were scared of him. 